Okay, so this is a little reminder for the students in my class on how to uh, use long division. In this case, we're not going to have any remi remainders. So here's my problem here. I have 4,368 divided by 6. First thing I do, I'm going to set it up properly. I'm going to put the 4,368 underneath my roof and have my dividend over here to the side. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remember, I'm going to write down all of my steps. I'm going to think of the acronym, Does McDonald's Sell Cheeseburgers? And I'm going to think of the fact that that means divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. I told the kids to write this on every single one of their sheets. Next thing to do, if I am not a super confident multiple, multiplication uh, person, then I, what I want to do is I'm going to make myself a little cheat sheet. I'm going to make myself a little chart that has all of my factors of 6 in there. So I'm going to start with 6. I know that this is what I'm going to divide. Uh, this is what I'm going to multiply from. I'm going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 on one side. These are the numbers that I'm multiplying by 6. And over here I'm going to write the answers to the multiplication. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 6 is 18. Let's say we get to this spot and we cannot remember for the life of us what 4 times 6 is. Well, it's better to get your fingers out and do some counting than it is to just guess. Because if you get this wrong or you get any of the multiplication wrong, then you're sunk. So I have 18, so I'm just going to go 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Maybe I'll count by fives to get 6 times 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I might add that 30 and that 6 together to get 36. I might need to add to get to 42, 48, 54. However it takes, whatever you can do, that's how you need to make sure that you have these numbers correct because um, this is super important. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my uh, division problem here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this first number. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to say, well, I have four. How many groups of four can I make? Uh, how many groups of six can I make out of four? How many groups of six can I make out of four? Well, I can't make any groups of six. I can make zero groups. So I'm going to put a zero up here. That's my divide. And then I'm going to multiply. Six times zero is zero. So now I'm going to subtract. And then I'm going to get four. Next, I'm going to check and make sure that this number is less than that number. And 4 is definitely less than 6. All right. So now I'm going to bring down the next number. I'm all done with this so far. So now I'm going to bring down the next number. So now I've got 43. Ooh, 43 is a big number. So let me look over here in my chart and see how close I can get to 43 without getting over. Ooh, well here I can do it. If I multiply 6 by 7, I can get 42. So I'm going to put my 7 up here on top of the 3. Now I'm going to do the multiplication. 6 times 7 is 42. I'm going to subtract. 3 minus 2 is 1. Is 1 less than 6? check it sure is so now I'm going to bring down my next number and my next number is a six so I'm gonna ask myself how many groups of six can I make out of 16 so I'm gonna go over here to my chart I'm gonna look and see what can I do well I could make two groups of six so I'm gonna put my two up here I'm gonna multiply out got 12 <coughs> and I'm going to subtract 6 minus 2 is 4 and I'm going to double check is 4 less than 6 yes it is check I'm good so next I'm going to bring down my next number 
Now I have an 8. All right, I'm going to go over here. 848 is a big number, so I want to make sure I don't make any mistakes. So I'm going to come over here, and I see that 8 times 4 is 48. So I need to put that number up here. Do my multiplication. 48, I'm going to subtract. And I have nothing left over this time. Is 0 less than 6? It sure is. And so I have no 6 left over. I don't have any kind of a remainder. Now, this, after I'm done with my division problem, my best practice is to multiply my answer by my dividend and see if I come up. So I have 6 times 8 times 6. Well, I've got that right here. That's 48. Regroup. 6 times 12, 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 more is 16, I'm regrouping, 6 times 7 is 42, plus 1 more is 43, and my product matches my dividend, so I know that my quotient is correct, so I am good to go. Hope that helps, have a great day.